Hey everyone, how's it going? Just getting set up here. Let me, how's everyone out there doing today? Uh, hopefully we get some good questions. I already got one through the email. Um, now in the description, I did add a link to, if you wanted to come on here live, uh, we can, I'm going to post it in here, um, in the chat. If you want to come on here on the video, how's it going, Dan? So, um, I just posted a link in the chat. If you want to come on here on video, ask your question or ask it in the, in the chat, by all means, um, let me know. I will add it in here for anybody who is watching on YouTube. All right. So anybody watching over on YouTube, uh, go ahead and I just posted a link. If you want to come over here, it is through StreamYard. Uh, now we do have a, uh, you know, this is our last live of the year. Okay. And we are going to, um, I'm, I'm skipping next week because of the, between Christmas and New Year's, I'm proud. I'm not going to be in town. Um, I'm going to try to do one, uh, the day on the second, but it may not be until the next week. So, um, but I will definitely try to make it happen. The first, first one of the year. Um, so with that being said, anybody who does have any questions, please do ask them in the chat. Um, and we can kind of go from there. I, uh, now last week we were comping, uh, properties live here. If you haven't seen that, go back and check out my YouTube channel, uh, at Randy Steadwell, uh, on YouTube. That's how you spell my name right over here. Okay. Uh, and you can, you can see how I did my comping live and, and, and went that way. So, um, again, I'm going to post the, we got a few more people coming in. If you want to come on live, just click on the link in the chat. Um, and we can come on over here and I will answer any questions you guys have. So, um, now with that being said, um, you know, I, I did get one through an email, uh, that they wanted to ask me my opinion on a, on a property that is currently in our Facebook group. Okay. And if you want, uh, if that person wants to come on, I'll go through the process that I, I think it will be, um, you know, how I think, how I would comp it and kind of go, go from there. So, uh, I did look at it a little bit today. Uh, so let's kind of dive into it a little bit. So what I'll do here first, uh, is I'm going to pull it up through the email. And I'm going to bring that over here and I'm going to share my screen. All right. So the, the video that they did want me or the, the property that they wanted me to comp and was this post right here. So, uh, looks like a great post here as I was reading through it it says two bedroom one bath on each one of them I'm assuming and I'm going through this whole thing assuming that you're purchasing both sides okay if you are um, then you have to kind of do the numbers that way all right I don't a lot of investors don't really like buying half of a duplex as an investment if you're gonna lose live in it fine but you want control of the main, you want control of the property. So let's look at some of these photos that they took. Uh, and we can kind of go from there. Now, uh, is it, it's Kaiser. How you doing Kaiser? Hi. Hi. Now, uh, did I pronounce your name wrong or how, how do you pronounce your name? Yes. This is Kaiser. Kaiser. Okay. So awesome. So what we can do is, uh, Casa is the one who sent me the email about this property. 
So what specific questions do you have on this, Kasser? What, what specific questions do you have on this on this property? Uh, this is the first time I'll be buying an investment property. Uh, okay. I had one my of my own own house which I sold it this year. Okay. And I'm planning to use that money to buy uh, other houses. So this is my okay. first property. I don't know what I should be doing. Like, is this <laughs> a good idea to fix or not? Okay. You know. Well. Well, you 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 sold and your the personal area also, property. I'm not sure whether I should be buying there or not. Okay, Th that's no problem. So let me ask you before we kind of go into this, uh, since you're here, let me. I'm gonna remove this. Let me ask you, what are your goals first off? So before we kind of dive into whether it's a good property to buy or not. It really determines on the person who is buying it and what their goals are. Okay. So do you want to own a bunch of rental properties? Do you want to, uh, what are your goals, um, in, in doing this? Can you hear me? Okay. My goal is to buy a few properties and rent out. Okay. All rent right. Rent it out. And rent them out. All right. So the good mm -hmm. thing is, is that this is a duplex. Yeah. So you're going to have, as long as you, as long as what's being sold is both sides. Okay. From the, the listing, that's what it sounds like. Okay. It sounds like it's being, both sides are being sold. I have seen it where they have separated them out like a condo. Okay. So, um, in that aspect, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so, but my question to you is, is what kind of capabilities do you have to do any type of renovations? Is there, there a delay here? Can you hear me okay? I had been doing remodeling projects for the other people. I can myself okay. do a lot of things, some electrical, some plumbing, flooring. I can do it myself also. So I'm not 100% dependent on the other people who will come and fix the houses. Okay. And I have few people with me who can work with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's awesome. So, so I, yeah, but I'm no, not I, planning I to buy some houses. We need to have some little TLC or something here and there. It's good. You know, I can okay. do it. Okay. So let, you know, now that I know a little bit about your background, you, you, you have the ability to um, at least get contractors and vet them and you, you've done some renovations prior. Uh, that's a little bit better The you know, the thing is, is that, yes. um, yeah. So with that being said, um, you want to be in Detroit. Is that right? Inside Detroit? Yes. I live in Sterling Heights, so it is close to my place and that is, uh, which I can afford it right now. Okay. Awesome. So, well, it's in your budget. So we'll kind of go through, mm -hmm. um, some of these. And so I'm looking at some of the pictures. I mean, the street looks okay. Um, when you go to some of the interior pictures, uh, the biggest thing you want to look at when you go there. Okay. So make mm -hmm. sure you write this down. I'm, I'm giving you homework here. Okay. You want to look for any type okay. of foundation issues. Okay. So okay. you want to make sure you want to make sure that there's no cracks or if they, are, if there is just cracks, it's very superficial. If you see horizontal okay. crack, cracks, if you see horizontal mm -hmm. cracks, like just going from one side to the other, look at the wall mm -hmm. and if you see mm -hmm. the wall bowing like this you got a huge foundation issue okay so okay. if you see the ball mm -hmm. the the wall not completely straight and then you see it bowing you got a foundation mm -hmm. issue 
All right. Um, yep. It's not to say that every everything can be fixed for a right price, but it's going to be more expensive doing that. I would not recommend you doing that on your first try. Um, okay. So are these already rented? Yes, they are rented. One is rented okay. for 450 and the other one is for 550, which I don't like it. <laughs> like right. uh, if I'm thinking about putting like 30,000 for each, like 60,000, this is a, a ho person wholesaler, I guess. He's selling this two together for yep. 60,000. And yep. for 60,000, I don't think it is a good amount, like 450 getting on 30,000 or so like thousand bucks is not a good figure for me. Yeah. So it depends on So again, you're going to look at, so the market rents over there for this type. If you get a nice section eight tenant, you can probably get uh, 850 to 900. You can possibly get up to a thousand. Um, it just depends. Okay. So, uh, this here, I was looking at this, I was looking at this here. This is, it's an older furnace. So you have to plan on upgrading mm -hmm. the furnace a little bit later on. Okay. If the furnace, make sure to see if okay. they have two separate furnaces. Okay. See if they have two separate mm -hmm. furnaces so that they're controlled separately as well as it looks like it looked like there was two separate hot water tanks and two two meters and and everything everything separated okay one thing you want to ask for as well is you want to ask for rent rolls okay and the reason why you do that is you want to make sure that those tenants are currently up to date as well as they've been paying on time every month okay so can I so, do that, that I can move them and get other tenants without any problem? It depends on their lease. You have to read okay. over their lease. Yeah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So if, if their lease says uh, that, if their lease says that you, with a 30 day notice, great. But you have to understand that if you get rid of those tenants, some tenants can be a pain in the butt and not want to move out. Now you have to go through an eviction mm -hmm. process. And now you're not going to get anything for quite a few months, you know, so keep that in mind. Okay. Um, the fact that it's paying, it's, it's getting really low rent. It, it's very, very rough. I would definitely ask for a discount for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, in his post, he says, oh, it's 13%, you know, as it currently stands. Now, do you know if they're Section 8 tenants or are they just regular tenants? I don't tenants? think so. I know I didn't ask, but I think they're not Section 8 tenants because Section 8, they don't pay 450 and 550 rent. No, they don't. So, yeah. Um, so we're looking at this. You're okay. So it looks like there's a separate, it looks like there's two separate furnaces and then the mm -hmm. bathrooms outdated so you're gonna need to yeah. uh, i i mm -hmm. would definitely spruce up the outside okay and uh, just make sure that there's yeah. no leaks in the windows um it looks like there's wood windows okay mm -hmm. so you're gonna when you go i would definitely always recommend you get your city certification Okay, mm -hmm. your rental certification, because if you do section eight, you're going to have to get it certified. You're going to have to uh, get it city certified and everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So look at the windows. If the windows are all wood, then you're going to have to look at possibly encapsulating, encapsulating the windows for because of the lead paint. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Things like things of that nature. I would. I would estimate if you're just looking to get it up and going, I would budget anywhere from 10 to 15,000. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you could probably only do five. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, mm -hmm. But look at everything you have to do first. I like to be a little bit more conservative on my numbers. I, I'd rather over budget and, and plan for the worst than, you know, um, but keep in mm -hmm. mind, I know that one furnace yeah. 
it looks really old and I don't know how long that's gonna that's gonna be so you you want to plan on that all right so uh, so keep that in mind mm-hmm